Hey there, my name is Peyton Macy's and you're listening to AnyCast. AnyCast is about anything and everything. We have some cool guests on sometimes, or sometimes it's just me. But enjoy today's episode and I hope you learn something new. What is up, everybody? Welcome back to AnyCast. Today, we are celebrating 30 years, 30 years of In Utero from Nirvana. This album came out on September 21st, 1993. So, you know, we're celebrating a bit early. I'll explain why in a little bit. Uh, but welcome to a September Saturday album review, I guess. I'll probably just say any music uh, in utero album review. But, you know, September Saturday album review. I know I said I wasn't going to really do a lot of more music. And then I saw a bunch of, like, social media posts and stuff about how in utero was 30. And I was like, I wear this shirt to school every day, yet I haven't listened to the entire album. I've only listened to like a few songs. So I took it upon myself to, um, you know, listen to it, review it, all that fun stuff. But before we do anything more, we need to talk about something very uh, important. Um, as many of you already may know, Steve Harwell has sadly passed away. Steve Harwell, for uh, those of you uh, that don't know, was really just one of the... uh, He was part of everybody's childhood, I think, from the 2010s kid. Every kid that grew up that time. Their childhood was built around Steve Harwell because, as you all may know, Steve Harwell made music for the original Shrek movie, including the all-famous All-Star. Um, Steve Harwell died to health complications. He was young. Uh, he had just retired from Smash Mouth last year. He was the lead in Smash Mouth. Um... And it it was just really sad to see this. Like, when I saw this, I was like, no, Steve Harwell died? Um, And, you know, I'll be honest, I can't say I was, like, a fan of Smash Mouth. But I was a fan of what I heard in Shrek, and that was my connection to the band Smash Mouth. It is how I knew uh, Smash Mouth. They did even um, a re-envisioning of uh, I'm a Believer. Like, they did every single song in that movie. Um, and it's just a shame. Uh, the other day, I was just, like, on social media, and I was uh, watching some tributes to uh, Steve Harwell. I'm actually going to link one down below. It's really uh, amazing, um, really moving one if you uh, liked All Star. It starts out all sad, and then it gets, like, really... Um, uplifting and it's like in a cinematic score type way it was it was really neat uh, i made a short about it a, a lot of other people made posts about it uh, i went back and watched the smash mouth music video on my own time and i watched the uh, uh i'm a believer music video on my own time it was just it was just great going back and seeing the legacy um i'm not gonna do an uh smash mouth review yet I probably won't do one. I might do one this month. I might just do all Saturdays this month and do a Steve Harwell uh, album review. But we're here today to talk Nirvana. 
Now, the last time we talked Nirvana was in the summer. I'm not exactly sure which uh, uh, album review it was, but we talked about Nirvana when we reviewed Nevermind from 1991. And now, the 1993 In Utero. No, I did not review. Uh, listen to the deluxe edition. You guys should already know this. I just listened to the original one that was released. I listened to it, and I have a lot of thoughts on it. It released on September 21st, 1993. As I said, 12 songs clocking in at 41 minutes and 27 seconds. That's pretty good for an album. 12 songs and you're doing it in that amount of time. That's, that's actually really good. It starts off with Serve the Servants. And I didn't really like it. I thought it was like, or actually, no. I thought Serve the Servants was good enough. It just was not my favorite. It's not a song I'm going to play all the time, you know? Now, on the other hand, Scentless Apprentice is weird. I don't really like this song. It's eh, it's okay. It, it's not great. And then we have the best song on the album, Heart Shaped Box. And, you know, Heart Shaped Box is just amazing. Uh, you have the heart shaped box uh, uh, song, and uh, it's been said this was about Courtney Love. I would not be surprised that was his main love interest in life um, until he quote unquote committed suicide. But you know, there's a lot of theories on that, and I don't believe he did actually kill himself. But you know, heart shaped box, it's good. You know, it's a great song. Then we go to something very dark like uh, Rape Me. Not a great song. I did not enjoy it. Uh, didn't enjoy the lyrics. Didn't enjoy the way that it was sung. None of that. And then we have Frances Farmer will have her revenge. A long title for like an okay song. Not my favorite, but it's, it's good enough. And then you have Dumb. And Dumb... Dumb's good. It's not, it's again, not this song that I would like play on repeat, you know, just like every day. Like, oh yeah, I'm going to listen to Dumb. No, I'm like, eh, no. Uh, you have Very Ape, which, <laughs> um, y- yeah, it, it's, it's a song. that That's about it. <laughs> you know, Very Ape is there. It's there on the album. If you like it, you like it. If not, you don't. It's, it's a weird song. Then you have Milk It, which is just, um, it gets so annoying. Um, I'm sorry, but screaming into the microphone, it's something that works well on Nevermind. Because there's like only two songs where they're just screaming the entire time. And those are my least favorite songs on that album. This album is a lot of just screaming. And it's like I'm listening to Screamo, but I'm not. It, it was just interesting with Milk It. Then we have uh, Penny Royal Tea. I didn't know if I was going to be able to say that. Penny Royal Tea. It's okay. Like a more relaxed song. And then we get into the final three. And we got Radio Friendly Unit Shifter. I like the music in this. The uh, lyrics are okay. The lyrics are okay. The music, great. Like all Nirvana, the music's almost always great. Uh, then you have Tourette's, I believe. Tor- Tourette's? I don't Tourette's? 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 Well, I don't know. It's okay. And then my second favorite song that I actually would play a lot is All Apologies. All Apologies is the final track on this album, and it's great. It's great. Um... Just a great song. Um, It reminds me... It's similar to Heart Shaped Box, and it's also very much so a Nirvana song. Like, if you heard this, you'd be like, yep, that's that's Nirvana. Like, if somebody else was singing it that wasn't Kurt Cobain, you'd probably be like, that sounds like something Nirvana would sing. Um, So, yeah, I guess the last fact I did want to say, something interesting about the song Rape Me um, is... This song has similar sounding chords 
two smells like teen spirit if you listen to it very very similar uh but yeah that's in utero uh good album really good uh heart shape box is one of their top five songs on spotify it's the third coming in after smells like teen spirit and come as you are is heart shape box uh and you know the rest of them uh the other two lithium and something in the way are from never mind uh, so yeah, in utero, great, great stuff. Uh, you know what? Next year, you can probably expect another Nirvana album review because it'll be 30 years of uh, MTV Unplugged in New York, which, you know, it's from MTV. If I can find the recording, I might just watch it. Um, yeah. Oh, dang. Last year uh, was the uh, uh anniversary of uh incestide which is one of their albums that i don't even know if, uh i don't i don't know a lot, a lot about that one but anyways yeah that that was that um it was pretty good i enjoyed it it was good enough uh some songs on it i could do without others i'm like yeah that was that was really good i'm glad i listened to that i'm sorry if the background noise today is like unbearably loud there's gardner uh there's music outside just a lot but something i did want to say the reason why we're not doing it on the 21st is because instead of doing a saturday album review on the 21st you guys are going to hear me review an earth wind and fire album with of course september because it just has to happen the 21st night of september september so it'll be up in the morning but hey if you can listen to it on the 21st night of September, that'd be awesome for you guys. Um, and if you miss it, uh, still listen to it because it's a great album. You guys should go check that one out. You guys should also go check out In Utero. I will be linking it down below. Um, and with that being said, I don't have a whole lot else of announcements. I will say, I will say, there might be a major announcement in the upcoming weeks or months uh i'm trying to figure something out right now that could affect this podcast and the youtube channel pretty significantly i'll post it uh on both my youtube channels and this and you guys will really see it if it happens you guys will really see a big change if not you guys won't see it don't be worried about it. It really wouldn't change a whole lot of how the podcast or YouTube channel looks right now. But let's just say there might be a re-theming to make this more niche. And an entire rebranding. I'm talking a new name, a new podcast cover art, a new everything. Uh, so yeah, that, that might be happening. You guys don't need to worry. Uh, I will say if it does go through... Uh, there will still be album, movie, and TV reviews, uh, but that'll be like the primary focus, the absolute focus. Maybe we'll have interviews. Yeah, cool. Yes, I will make movies. Yeah, I'll, I'll talk about it later when it does happen, if it does. Uh, but yeah, that is something that might happen. Um, I also might sh uh, set up a shop. I'm just like I'm not saying words. Words won't come in, weren't coming out. I might set up a shop. I did so with my ministry channel uh, on Bonfire. The only thing is it's going to be significantly more expensive than Teespring. And that's going to really suck because, well, number one, uh, this economy is crap. And I don't want you guys paying for my merchandise when you guys, you know, maybe can't afford other things. So don't, don't buy my merchandise if you can't afford other things. Prioritize that. But secondly, this merch... Um, I haven't gotten any of it yet, but I've heard it's really good quality, and I expect it to be, uh, since it is more pricey uh, for me to even, you know, break even with the company. Uh, and another cool thing is I could even, like, set up a campaign to a, a non-profit organization. Uh, and so, like, if you guys bought these mugs that, like, let's say in theory... Now, I was sending an AnyCast mug, and it would go to, like, Breast Cancer Awareness, and it was, like, AnyCast logo, but pink for uh, Breast Cancer Awareness Month. All the profits could go to an organization that helps fight that um, and, you know, helps pour money into research to uh, uh, get rid of that. So, that is pretty cool about that site. But, I don't know. I'll let you guys know if that's happening. Of course, like always, I cannot stress this enough. 
We do have a full on TV series. And it looks like I'm doing all the voice acting, actually. Uh, so I'm really doing that, uh, all the voice acting. Uh, it's going to be really something else. I don't know if I could say it's like super, like it's horror, but it's not like scary. It's more like set in a horror environment and it's uh, like sci-fi fantasy horror. So, you know, there's that. It's really there for a story. Uh, on October 31st, the entire thing will be uploaded as an audio drama for you guys on any cast because why not you know why why not uh so yeah that's that and i think that's all i gotta say on in utero uh great great album great songs uh rest in peace kurt Cobain. rest in peace steve harwell and uh go check out the tribute that i'm gonna link down below and check out the album see you guys in the next one peace out